Now welcome back to another excuse for life. Now blessing goes out to all my viewers and all my subbies. All my well wishes. Like, share and also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Come up in today's topic and review. The pie grow bigger. They don't come to you on the platform and tell you how they are going to create an economy for Portland for which you can benefit and your life can change. Guys, I'm recording this. East Portland, east of Boston Bay. If you think Fairy Hill have problems, come to Boston. Come east of Boston. You see a fire bomb? Guess what? Fire continue to burn until we have water, until we have no dust. And our member of parliament, where is she? We see that Jesus performed the miracle by, the miracle by walking on it. I can't believe it. They don't give you a vision for the future that shows you how you are going to be better off. They don't come to you and tell you how they're going to use the natural assets that you have to create wealth for you. They don't tell you that. But number 28, you never tell me say you're going to take where natural resources and sell it out to private investors where now where local people them can't benefit from it. Them can't go they sell like a peanut and sell like a Wrigley's. It not benefit with no more. Them can't go they sell them like a stuff on the beach. I go find my little foreigner girl and end up get opportunity for her foreign. You shut off all them opportunities from the local in Jamaica. And then you turn around and say the people might tell lie on you. Well, here we have a foreigner. So I guess the foreigner tell lie on you. I'm on a run in Jamaica that I thought would have beautiful oceanfront views for the entire time. If you were to look on a map, it actually looks like I'm running on the coast. But instead, this is all that I've seen. Just super high walls that are basically protecting the private property from everyone else because 99% of oceanfront property in Jamaica has been privatized. This isn't true in every country and a lot of the countries I've traveled to it's actually illegal to own the beach. It has to be open to everybody. All they come and do is talk about me and tell life on me and tell all kind of life. Now I hope you hear that, you know, that's a tourist we go to Jamaica. And she has say all of the beach them privatized. Where she go up on a run and the course what she see on the map would let she think that it should be running on beaches. But when she got there in reality, it's something totally different. All of the beach course has been privatized. No, Mr. Bro, God never tell me about this, you know. Number 28 never tell me nothing about this same did I do this, you know. That's why me like how Mark Golden operate. Him now kill me with no promises. This man kill me with big promises and none of his promises he deliver. The man I do the total opposite of everything. Him never tell me about none of these Injustice we do to us as a nation, same would I do to we. But we realize and we are gonna get rid of you. You just call the election and you say, I want to listen to what this white woman saying, cause black people seems like them now care about black people. And this election what's coming up is we can't see it clear. It based upon good and evil, God and the devil so choose which side you're on you see it played out in america you know where god plays a part in that election because mr trump was saying god so me i'm gonna say where jamaica i mean no say jamaica is a god-fearing country most people at jamaica love god so me no say L listen to what this this woman is saying I'm on a run in Jamaica that I thought would have beautiful oceanfront views for the entire time. If you were to look on a map, it actually looks like I'm running on the coast. But instead, this is all that I've seen. Just super high walls that are basically protecting the private property from everyone else because 99% of oceanfront property in Jamaica has been privatized. This isn't true in every country and a lot of the countries I've traveled to, it's actually illegal to own the beach. And it's a 
damn shame we have a white woman a go down a Jamaica expose the injustice of a government as say 99 percent of a beaches has been privatized and it's actually illegal because no country should sell out the beaches them you understand and shut away the locals them from the beaches the beaches them are for the locals and and you only do it and he must say the woman this white woman i tell lie this tourist when say my bill tourist when say tourism is our main bread but see the tourists them come to jamaica yeah, and i may show no the investors them a ball and the tourists them a ball about everything in jamaica the cars are living and everything mega show no but further listen to what this woman has said. Been privatized. This isn't true in every country. In a lot of the countries I've traveled to, it's actually illegal to own the beach. It has to be open to everybody. But in Jamaica, the vast, vast, vast majority of oceanfront land has been bought and basically taken away from the locals so that they can't enjoy it. Uh, <laughs> you might be surprised because I've been walking along this street for at least 40 minutes and I haven't seen the beach once even though I'm on the coast. And I was talking to some kids, some local kids a few nights ago walking down the road, and I asked them if they enjoyed going to the beach every day growing up in this beachside town. And they said they barely ever go because it's a 40 minute walk from their house, even though they technically live on the beach. So I just think this is interesting. It's not something that a lot of people who travel to Jamaica know about. They just go to their resort, they see the beach there, and then they take the airport, bleh, head to the airport and head out. But definitely like you would never know right here is the coastline because they put up this huge wall so that nobody can see it i think it's unnecessary <laughs> i thought i was going to be running along the beach all morning but instead it's been i still haven't seen the beach once all they come and do is talk about me and tell life on me and tell all kind of life Crazy. 28 no man say you crazy. Mad they are mad out. Crazy. But they have no plan. plan. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Number 28. Every day you get up and you try to convince Jamaica that the other party don't have no plans. It's not that they don't have no plans, it's just that they're not Peeking out their plans because them know you is a carbon copy and your cocky little ears for teeth ideas because you don't have no ideas of running the country. Now let's look at your plan. That's what you need to look at. This is your plan. Yeah, you are built a Jamaica where you have foreign investors and you're building all the apartments and you're building all these infrastructures in Jamaica. As may I say all of these things average locals cannot afford it now i'm gonna make this foreigner this tourist will come to jamaica where you say is tourists will come here yeah, build jamaica for tourists listen to what this tourists are say about the jamaica where you are built the cars are living laundromat in jamaica and absolutely nobody prepared me for how absurd the prices are here how are the locals affording this i have used i'm from new york and i've used wash and dry do your own laundromats in manhattan before like if you're from new york you know not every apartment has a washing machine and the most i've ever paid is about 12 dollars. so like six dollars for a wash six dollars for a dry Tell me why here in Jamaica, in Kingston, to use a laundromat, it's 25 US dollars. And it's charged per minute too. Like, I just think that's insane. So I use the washing machine over here. To use one of these, it's 1800. And the soap is 250 extra. I think that's just a few bucks. And if you want to save some money, you can use one of these little ones. But the thing is, you have to use your own water. Why you said just now? What did you say just now? Rip Eat that for me. Use your own water. God, Jamaica is not a normal place. So the whole time it's washing, you need to be have a bucket and then dump the water in like this. Yeah. I've never seen that before. Mm -hmm. Or you can use one of these for about twelve dollars. And then these are the dryers, and it is seven hundred Jamaican per ten minutes to use the dryer. So it's like five dollars every ten minutes. I've never seen a laundromat like this. I've traveled all over the world. 
please tell me, is this normal? Like, I feel like this is so unsustainable. Um, I've also noticed that the grocery prices are quite high. Like a bag of grapes is also $25. I just don't know how anyone affords to live here. Now I know that can make you clearly understand if a foreigner can say them don't say how oh, people can afford to live in Jamaica. She goes as far as say one bag of grape is for 25 US dollars. That's the economy, Mr. 28 account of phone. That's the plans him have plan for you know. make food I wanna can't even afford for buy it and I they say I make one bag of money off you know, because it make food prices so high. So it might not bring in no new taxes but ain't it look on the price of food. I they say I'm a killer you know, no say food and water is essential and it make them thing there expensive. It make water unavailable or not for pay for water. This man is a wicked man and he need to go like now. Like yesterday. All they come and do is talk about me and tell life on me and tell all kind of life. To use your own water. Crazy. If she as a foreigner can't even afford it, oh, a local gonna afford it. Wake up, this is what we facing, this is the reality. Stop listening to this man come with all his fancy talk and stuff like that. All that fancy talk and all the crap you talk not working. Cause every time you talk, you kill yourself in the show with your own words. Because you always describe yourself. Listen to reality. What we facing. People, I'm Marie Vaz and our Prime Minister out of campaign that say nobody now come mash up our family thing which you have with the Portland people them because of lately as you know Isaac Buchanan has been nominated for Portland. Now while Miss Vaz was out campaigning with the Jamaica Labour Party, the people in my favor and Boston was out blocking the road and demonstrating so them want road and water. I'm recording this, East Portland, east of Boston Bay. If you think Fairy Hill have problems, come to Boston. Come east of Boston. You see a fire burn? Guess what? Fire continue to burn until we have water, until we have no dust. And our member of parliament, where is she? Miss Vaz, after the meeting, realize I'm break down and start ball. You see that Jesus performed the miracle by, miracle by walking on it, I can't believe <laughs> And why she a ball is because it's alleged that the people them of Portland, if them want clean water, them have to pay for the water. No, my viewers look good on the screen. That's Anne Marie Vaz water truck. Me never know the people that own water truck unless they must sell water. If we are going to get good water at $10,000, they must charge. Papa Jesus, this is what's going on in our nation. Story come up to bump. Now she a try to say a lie the people that might tell. However, it's all in the makings and with Isaac Buchanan nominated for MP of Portland, all of them dirt are going to come out. The people that are Portland need water and road. Fairy Hill is a place and we need water and good road. And we have voted out Miss Vaz, you and Darrell Vaz, Uno Africa. You understand the people them tired of Uno. Now my viewers, after Miss Vaz finish her tantrum, bawling, and as you know, our wicked people ball, in time them know the truth. Now the people in my Portland, up a Fairy Hill and Boston, determined that them now stop blocky road until them get water and good road. Miss Vaz, in return, draw for help for come talk to the people them in the constituency. And guess who she draw for? None other than this disgusting man, Wormington. 
Evral Wormington. Yes, what are you? You told me the parish council. So I am, I am following. No, you don't follow my program. The MP were in the past saying that labor right should not demonstrate. Talk to Peter. They ain't talk to us. But labor right about demonstrate. And because labor right before it did demonstrate against poor treatment, him spite the people them by not assisting them for two years in southwest st catherine at bushy park them black road and them on street it take me two years to fix it so me don't know if him feel like say my god i'm going to portland I'm try this now but we know say portland people now have it i do not respond to road blocking and demonstration because you won't have two years more in power you shall be out of here with your teeth in corrupt self now listen to Mr. Warmington. Go down to Portland. A bad up. The caretaker for Portland. We are protest about the poor condition of the road and water. No! This is a government of the Yes, what are you? You told me the parish council. So I am, I am following. No, you don't follow my tour. I'm a tour. This is a political tour. Yeah, and it's a government, so I want to know what is happening. Caretaker not recognize. Papa Jesus, this man that shouldn't even be in parliament because after him say him nagi PNP caretaker no money for spend like a fee money like taxpayers. And Andrew only say him fire him. And then the next minute we know we see about this man in parliament. These are the disrespect. Well, Mr. 28 account say, if I him I pay the NP them 300 and 200 and percent increase. And if them now perform, him I go sack them. But here we have Mr. Wormington still in Parliament, when this man should be out of here long time in Ghana and Portland, can bad up the people them. What you are going here, sir? No! This is a government of the world. Yes, what are you? You told me the parish council. So I am, I am following. No, you don't follow my tour. I'm a tour. This is a political tour. Yes, yeah, and it's a government, so I want to know what's happening. Caretaker not recognize. Go on. Caretaker not recognize. I'm a citizen of Jamaica. I want to know what's happening. You hear me? You hear how this man rude and disrespectful? Him going to mess with the wrong man one of these days, you know, and him going to get it, you know. I come tell the man about he is a, care, he is a caretaker, and a caretaker is not recognized in the constituency of Jamaica. This man show no care to the people them cry. Instead him go there bully the people them. You heard what he said before the people them in the other constituency were demonstrate. A two years before him give them any assistance. And them people there was labor right. Papa Jesus, listen to this. I'm a citizen of this country. Well, man, I'm and I have interest in this. Keep your interest to yourself. No, I'm your yard. It's my rash, Clark. I tell you, wickedness can't done. It's a big stone if you get my face straight when me hear that come out of my mouth. You know? Me, I say, look like, oh, I'm not sensible neither. I'm Joven Johnson, and this is Jamaica Now. Prime Minister Andrew Holness has acknowledged that criminals have operated out of the Jamaican police force. The admission from the head of government came Tuesday as Mr. Holness addressed the modernization and transformation of the Jamaica Constabulary Force to confront the country's endemic crime problem. As we invest in degrading and eroding and eradicating the gangs, the JCF can't have any of its members involved in gangs. None of the JCF members can be in any way, shape, or form associated with offering support, giving information, taking money from, being friends with people who are in gangs. It must not happen.
Well, you can't clap all you want, you know, because it's a reality. And the problem is, is what the Prime Minister going to do to solve that problem within the police force because he spends in millions equipping these police and into your look we have the same problem the same problem now we are going to hear what him say is the cause of this and him now tell me what he's gonna do to change this because clearly if you did appear the police them properly probably them would have think twice about going out there and taking bribe from the gang member we are give them money because this is the problem but you rather pay yourself 200% increase and pay them 15% increase this is part of the problem it's a cultural problem where you create so may I listen to you well enough listen now people what him are going to say now because this is a reality the police them and it requires a change in culture <laughs> <laughs> Because, unfortunately, over the last 30 or 40 years, I always have to refer back to the past. He never speak on within his term, within the nine years what you in service. If you don't believe me, go look it up. I don't do research for you. It's on the internet. There have been more citizens unalive by the hands of the police within that nine year pension you understand what i'm saying to you than within the 30 to 40 years where him a talk about from back in the past because me never say a prime minister just a living at the past me tell you say you always talk and shoot yourself in at the show why what is the solution to the problem it requires a change in culture what a change in culture we're going with this because unfortunately over the last 30 or 40 years there has been the infiltration of the police force so why can't you change something referred to the future guys like we still are living in the past we still I live like 40 years or 30 years ago because we have a police force now than more corrupt than ever before they more advanced them have more technology but yet still them more corrupt by criminal organizations many of them parading in ways to suggest that they are you know regular business people we are friends i go drink at his bar we go have a talk it must change in the jcf you in there for nine years and you haven't made no changes because we're still at the same point where we are and no matter how much billions and millions and zillions of dollars you spend we still end up with the same result we're still at where we are 40 years ago me tell you say you always talk and shoot yourself in at the show why what is the solution to the problem it requires a change in culture what a change in culture well i can't mad at you know mr 28 may i leave it at that you say a change of culture my viewers and my subscribers you all let me know what you think is the problem down in the comment section exclusive out